This is going to be your guide for using Blastoise in Pokemon Unite. First things first, let's go to battle prep and let's see what you should be running on this Pokemon where things already get really cool for Blastoise because it has multiple movesets and each of those movesets are going to have different item recommendations. So you have a lot of choices when it comes to this Pokemon. So first, I'm going to be talking about Surf Hydro Pump where the battle item is Eject Button. So here's an interesting thing. I've kind of already made and pre-recorded a lot of my guides for the Pokemon Pokemon Unite, but I'm saving them for the mobile release when the game gets more interest. And in a lot of those guides, I say, hey, you don't need to run Eject Button all of the time, and you should give some other items consideration. And that's usually what I do first. Kind of see, hey, is Full Heal just better? That way you can run into a fight, pop Full Heal, and do crazier things than just having Eject Button for maybe Slight Engage or Slight Escape. Sometimes X Speed is just more mobility throughout a fight. X Attack is more damage on just straight up Brawler Pokemon. And then other items might have utility, like Fluffy Tail on Mr. Mime if your jungle is bringing it. So try to keep your options open more than just just defaulting to the eject button however with surf hydro pump blastoise eject button i feel is the best thing to use because you want to set up that incredible crowd control you get into the right position you surf you hop off you hydro pump depending on how many people you hit that's just a one team fight or that's just an insane amount of damage or it's a crazy pickoff so yeah i think that eject button is going to be for the first move set on blastoise and then we can talk about other items for other move sets now held items Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, you are always running these on Blastoise. Buddy Barrier is just the best item in the game, and it's a must pick on pretty much every Pokemon, if not every Pokemon by now, and Focus Band is just too good to not use. So really, we have one item slot to play with, and Wise Glasses, while we're using Surf, Hydro Pump, those are special attacks, it also plays into our Torrent, which is really where Blastoise is going to shine, is working around your passive ability, more on that later, but yeah, like Wise Glasses, Glasses, just get more damage in there. It doesn't matter that Blastoise is a tank because it does ridiculous amounts of damage and now we can take a look at the moveset. So Hydro Pump has the user attack by blasting out a huge volume of water, dealing damage and shoving them when it hits. So you have long range, hard crowd control, and then increases damage at level 11. So you also get the uh, Hydro Pump upgrade at level 5 things take into consideration. Then at level 7, that's when your Skull Bash upgrades into Surf or Rapid Spin. Surf. This is just insane. It's a much larger Slowbro Surf that you can jump off of at the end of its usage. So you kind of have the uh, Greninja Unite move where you just kind of like pop off in a direction. But that's what you want to do. You want to flash in, you want to position the Surf, then you want to jump off and you just hit people with Hydro Pump and ridiculous things happen. Also, level 13 upgrade grants a shield. So you're going in, you're unstoppable, you're displacing, you're a tank, and then you get a shield. Blastoise is ridiculous, and then that brings us to Torrent. When the Pokemon is at half hit points or less, the attack and special attack are increased, and this is what you need to play around. If you've played a lot of Venusaur, one of the biggest things that can make or break your game is how well you play around the passive. Well, Blastoise is just easier because you're a tank. So you can get into torrent range more comfortably and you have a better chance of surviving in it, especially with the focus band. So this is also where focus band becomes a very important item on the Blastoise. But really you just want to use like half of your health bar to walk into a fight. Then you use all of your abilities, regardless of the moveset, get crazy amounts of boosted power and things are pretty ridiculous. Also your basic attack pretty good just a large cannon that slows deals bonus damage and then your night move also really strong big damage you want to use it with torrent gives you a shield knocks pokemon into the air large range it's just really good you set up in the middle of a team fight and you obliterate people so that was the surf hydro pump move set now let's talk about the rapid spin water spout move set where i don't like eject button as much and this is where things get kind of weird because even though you're unstoppable during rapid spin i like full heal since as you're coming out of rapid spin you can't take action for like a quarter to a third of a second 
and if you want to like pop out of rapid spin really quick and go into your night move you can actually get your night move cancelled by the opponent's hard crowd control so I like full heal just for like that guarantee like added unstoppability to my shenanigans and then I'm able to do whatever I want also full heal really helpful in the early game since it allows you to escape ganks since it allows you to escape things like Alolan Ninetales or just weird situations you use full heal, Dreadnought tries to knock everyone up, you're not knocked up, you use abilities, you secure Dreadnought. There's like some weird situations where full heal actually works out. If not, X speed is also pretty cool because you go into your rapid spin and then you just chase people down and you do absurd, disgusting amounts of damage. We're going to show that in the practice tool and then for the held items let's go take off the wise glasses and that's where we put in the muscle band because you auto attack while in the rapid spin while using water spout something that's a good way to just kind of keep capitalizing on your damage and just like have reliability throughout the course of fights and also more attack more basic attack speed plays into torrent works pretty well on blastoise but if you want to use wise glasses you can now if you don't have muscle band upgraded or you want to keep with the wise glasses still works really well because while in rapid spin you get eight instances of damage at 36 percent scaling each so you're actually adding hundreds of bonus damage by having wise glasses with the seven percent with your base special attack with the torrent so it still does nasty ridiculous amounts of damage and rapid spin also has some scaling behind it now i disagree with hydro pump rapid spin we're going to talk about that more in a bit we can also see why wise glasses just works with hydro pump three hits 53 special attack surf just a flat 125 special attack so you're finding damage and then it's just becoming more damage with the torrent so thanks to unite-db.com for having the scaling and the base damage values and all that fun stuff um, yeah, you can still just kind of run it like this or the wise glasses. And this brings us to another interesting point about the Blastoise. Until draft pick happens, you're just kind of going in blind. So Muscle Band is more going to lock you into Rapid Spin Water Spout. And there's some situations where that's going to be better against the enemy team. Like this just lets you stick onto a Cinderace and completely melt it. And mobile Pokemon like Venusaur also just get shredded by the water spout and the rapid spin because it's thousands of damage even early on in the game so yeah like you want to use that to really get into the back line and destroy people or just get into the middle of a team fight and then hit crazy damage on multiple targets it's ridiculous but if you have wise glasses that also gives you the freedom to go hey hydro pump surf might be better here but i'm also still doing crazy amounts of damage with the water spout rapid spin so Another thing about Blastoise is going to be able to have that adaptability to be like, wait a second, which moveset does the opponent's team call for, or what, which moveset does my team synergize with most? So now let's finally get into the practice tool where I can show off the movesets. I'm going to start with Surf Hydro Pump because that's my personal favorite moveset, and I think it is the best moveset on Blastoise. So yeah, it's, it, you got a lot of cool options, and we're going to get into that. But before I show that, I also want to talk about getting into lane because getting into lane fast as any Pokemon is really beneficial. Uh, using Water Gun on that first Apom can, depending on like where your ally is or what Pokemon you have on your side, might like knock the Apom out of range for a bit and then you're actually losing DPS even though you're using an ability on it. So I really don't use Water Gun on the first two Apoms, I just kind of let my lane buddy help me out with that. But then what you want to do is you want to line up the double hit on the Apom if you go top or bottom, so boom, do that, hit both of them, that lines them up, that does almost half their health, you get an empowered auto attack in there, you get an ally to hit both of them as well, and then you are taking the Apoms super fast, and that's going to speed you up to getting to Audino or Corphish, and I personally like taking Squirtle bot lane more, because Corphish, if they got a Cramorant up there, if they got a Snorlax up there, it's going to be gone by the time you show up, you're not beating the timer like you are with some other Pokemon, so Audino is a fatter Pokemon, it's going to make it to where you have more time to get up there and react, that's also where the first fight gets kind of interesting. So what I like doing is I like trying to like tag the Audino, maybe get a little bit of AoE onto the opposing Pokemon, but then when I'm below half, that's why I want to use my Torrent, hit the Audino, try to go for a steal that way. Since this is a practice Pokemon, it's not going to like prioritize the Audino do things. So 
you can see this happen in my gameplay and it depends on the guide so some guides I go straight into gameplay after I show off the abilities but for this one I'm gonna say check out my other videos because I have videos of both Blastoise movesets you can see how they play and that's going to help you out with the Blastoise so description down below my other videos like comment subscribe notification bell all that YouTube shilling stuff but now let's talk about the Surf Hydro Pump moveset because it is so cool so Hydro Pump Surf and here's what I was talking about with Surf so when you use it when you uh, come to the end of the surf, you get to hop off and choose a direction. So let's go here, let's hold to the right, and then you hop off to the right. Let's go here, hold to the left, then you hop off to the left. And you might notice that was carrying with the surf. So if you don't press anything, you actually hop off the surf pretty early on, and then it continues for a way. But if you're holding uh, on the up, or if you're holding in direction of the surf, you kind of follow it through most of the direction. And then you can also do some other things. Surf, you hold backwards or backwards in the direction of the surf and then you hop off even earlier and that lets you set up a lot of cool things so most of your attention and brain ram inside of a fight is going to be optimizing where you're putting that surf and what direction you're hopping off to do the most amount of carnage in a fight and it leads to a lot of like weird situations so let's say we're flanking we got behind the opposing pokemon and we're about to throw them into our team with the surf well, what you want to do is actually hold away from them and now you can push them even deeper into your team now depending on the team fight and the opponent's pokemon play Placement, you can also just kind of keep walking through them with the surf and the hindrance length is ridiculous just gotta watch they're stunned they're stunned they're still stunned you get to walk through them a bit while they're still stunned and then you can hydro pump them back into the team so that's what you want to do you want to catch as many people as possible with the surf and then you want to hydro pump as many people as possible into your team and just just obliterate them now this also means like you can come in from weird angles so let's say our team is in this choke point right over here that means you can actually like hop off in weird directions where it's like okay I'm setting up a flank this way and that's also where the eject button comes into play so you eject button you surf onto them you hop off to the left and then that's when you can move around and then throw the surf in a different direction now the way I showed it is kind of scuffed because of how much like the substitute doll is pushed but you can see this inside of my Blastoise gameplay even in like the first couple seconds of the video where I make the play where it's like wait a second I catch a flank and instead of like going behind them and pushing them in I just push them straight down hop off to the side because you get like a flash inside of your surf and then that's a hydro pump Ooh! oh my goodness so what you want to do is you want to use that eject button to get on the right side of your opponent and then do like some crazy surf things and then pop off and do that. Now, as you notice, surf does not go through terrain. That's kind of a big deal. And it's interesting because the surf itself doesn't go through terrain either. Some moves actually like go through terrain. So you can hydro pump over a wall, but you can't surf over a wall. So make sure there's going to be an open lane for using these moves and then try to find a cool place to pop off and then just be as disruptive as possible but you're also doing good amounts of damage and if we were knocked into torrent range while we're also blastoise and we have high amounts of special attack scaling into our wise glasses the damage gets even crazier but it's still a bursty amount of damage for a tank at level eight and if you're at half health you're just gonna be doing more damage and then one last thing on the Hydro Pump is that it depends on how close the Pokemon is to get all three of the hits. So if they're really close, you're going to get all three hits and you're going to do more damage. If you're kind of hitting them at the edge, so let's wait for the uh, damage to reset, we can see that's just going to get less instances of damage. That's why positioning your Surf, walking around, using Flash, kind of setting things up, is, is just going to change how much damage Blastoise does in a fight. And like I said, you can just kind of afford to use half of your health bar to walk into a fight to make sure you're getting the perfect Surf, the perfect Hydro Pump. So that allows you to get in some cool positions and do all the crazy things that Blastoise wants to do. And like, as you're walking up to them in the fight, that's where you can just be auto attacking, doing whatever, make sure you land the Surf, pop off, Hydro Pump, get hits, walk into them a bit more to make sure you get all three hits and yeah, just uh, Blastoise is wacky like that. So this is still going to find a surprising amount of damage, but it's mostly you're a tank, you're being disruptive, we already saw how long that CC duration is with Surf and then Hydro Pump push as well. They don't get to act for a very, very long time and you just get to push them wherever you want. So let's go and check out the Rapid Spin moveset. Okay, now this is where things get spicy because Rapid Spin has a lot of mechanics going on and we're going to be giving up all of that crazy hindrance potential for ridiculous amounts of damage. 
So while inside of rapid spin, you can use auto attacks. You still build up to your empowered auto attack. It has like a larger cannon or something. And this is why you want the muscle band because now you have an AOE auto. If you have two people like on either side of you or if you're just in a crowd of people, you're going to be getting the muscle band passive. You're going to be attacking slightly faster and just going to scale really well with the rapid spin. But rapid spin also resets the cooldowns of your other ability. So you want to set up a water spout, go into rapid spin and then use water spout and then that's just going to stack crazy damage. Now you can also use Water Spout while rapid spinning while auto attacking. So let's get into that when our cooldowns come off. So, so and that's like another thing, like playing around Blastoise means a lot of really fast button clicks and doing everything just right. So make sure you're using that Water Spout first because it's getting a free reset. Kind of also corral your opponents with it. They're running away from you, put it at max range, use Rapid Spin to get in, and then Water Spout. And Water Spout actually speeds you up. You can also see our attack animation going off inside of the Water Spout. It's crazy DPS optimization, but it gets even crazier than that because you need to hold down the R button while inside of Rapid Spin to make sure you're using Water Spout, but pay attention to the Water Spout icon, because as you're going into Rapid Spin, you're locked out of using moves, then you have to hold down, but if you let go of it early, that's going to knock you out of your Water Spout. So that's going to be another big thing about practicing with Blastoise, is to not accidentally cancel your Water Spout, or not accidentally not use Water Spout, because you're being locked out by going into Rapid Spin. So if you go into Rapid Spin, just wait a little bit, then make sure you just hold down on that R key. Like, if you're using Water Spout for the first... Like, it might sound silly. It might sound like I'm trying to over-explain something, but this is going to be one of the most disciplined things about the Rapid Spin, is that you don't accidentally cancel your Water Spout, or you don't accidentally not use it. And if you're, like, using Auto Attacks, one side of Rapid Spin, it might be inside of a team fight, it might be hard to know. It's like, oh, I never used my uh, Water Spout. Then you want to get in, then you want to use everything, and when you come out of Rapid Spin, you also get an Empowered Auto Attack, so make sure you use that, and that's why I do like the Full Heal, because another thing is as we're exiting Rapid Spin, we can't take action. So, I mashed Water Spout there, but again, like, there's the animation of you coming out of your shell, and you can't use your Night Move, you can't use any other abilities, so I want to have the full heal, that way I don't get crowd controlled and accidentally knocked out of my Unite move before I get a chance to use it, because Rapid Spin does make you slightly vulnerable while you're leaving it. So, let's just show that off really quick, I'm going to leave Rapid Spin, and then I'm going to mash the Unite move. And see, it does take a little bit. You have to complete that animation. You can get stunned while that happens. I've had it happen kind of commonly to where it's like, I'm inside of five people with the rapid spin. I'm going to set up the craziest Unite move ever, and my Unite move's on cooldown. Because I just got randomly stunned out of it. So I like the full heal there, but then again, you can just kind of use the um, X speed with the water spout be really zooming into people, get into that back line, tear people up, slow them down with the auto attack. Like, that's another crazy thing. Rapid Spin gives you that empowered auto attack, so you have a slow baked in there, and you just stick on someone, and most likely by that point, they're pretty much dead. Um, as mentioned before, Rapid Spin makes you unstoppable, which means you can go into the enemy flux zone, you're not going to be slowed down, you can use it to also perfectly time hindrances. So if you see it's like, oh, that Pikachu or that Ninetales is going to start popping off with abilities and it's going to want to stun me. Nope, just use Rapid Spin. Same thing for Surf. Remember, while surfing, you're unstoppable. So predicting ability usage is going to be pretty big on the Blastoise. Oh yeah, I forgot to record the part on why you don't use Hydro Pump with Rapid Spin. As you saw, Hydro Pump pushes people. So you push people away, and even though you're getting the Hydro Pump cooldown reset, you then have to use Rapid Spin to catch up to them, to then use Hydro Pump to try to push them again. It's really clunky, it doesn't have as much displacement, you actually lose an instance of damage on the Hydro Pump, so it's less damage than Water Spout or just a regular Hydro Pump, and it also doesn't push people back in a large range, like it's still a really small knock, so it, it doesn't do enough, like it just doesn't do enough compared to the other movesets. Back to the video. So I think that's pretty much going to be it for the Blastoise, it's just those little nuances in how to fully optimize your moveset. Uh, again, you want to make sure you're also in that torrent range, so even if it means waiting a little bit for that water spout, like use the first water spout always, then you go into that rapid spin, take some damage, take some damage, you got a long time to use it, then you use it, can still get the full duration, still get a lot of auto attacks in there, and hopefully by that point you've ran into them, you've taken damage, torrent activates, and you're being even crazier. 
And yeah, like I said, I think that's going to be it on the Blastoise. So sometimes in these guides, I go straight into gameplay. Other times, you got to check out a separate video. But that video is going to have just showcase a lot of what I've talked about with the Blastoise and show a lot of success and what you want to do. Then you're just going to get better on it. The really cool thing about Blastoise, really fun to play, pretty easy to pick up. Squirtle, I still don't know exactly what to do with the early game. Sometimes you win that Corefish Audino fight, other times you just get completely slapped out. The Vespaquin contest can get a little weird, but then you just get Hydro Pump and you're pushing people around like into your jungle, into Dreadnought, into team fights, and eventually you hit level 7, you hit level 9, and then you're ridiculous. So, Blastoise, fun to pick up easy to get into and then you just get better the more time you put onto it and then you find all like the crazy stuff and you just keep on snowballing from there so if you guys enjoyed the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching